Hi good morning and welcome to Berg Mountain Optional University's course on how to run for president in US political structure. Now we have the preface and introduction. Preface. As a man's home is his castle, so too do we scale up and slash or down our political goals. We understand being the king of Norway or the queen of England, but we are more familiar with the president of the United States, Mexico, or any other republic. With it being incredibly difficult, if not impossible, to ascend to royalty outside of war, the innate sense of sovereignty that all men have in common coerces us to speak, when others are silent. No, many can't compare one who may trace lineage hundreds of years to one who knows but back in four shots, grandfathers to grandsons, but as the distance from the sovereign grows further, greater protection from the forces of nature coerce the establishment of justice. Chaos all about, with little to no order, in the absence of relevant authority and being unrepresentatively taxed, subcultures are bred, governments are formed naturally, scaled down from empires and kingdoms to republics, cities, and towns we know and love, is prosperity and unity through space and time. As an attack on the king's men is the same as an attack on the king himself, this extra-legal body would defend the king's men as well as its own with justice. After the revolution, of course, we had a few rights which were inferred but had not been written down. Writing distinguishes men from other mammals, so, if we ever discover a cave painting, we know it was done by a human, who may not be as linguistically or technologically advanced but a human, nonetheless. Our innate sense of sovereignty forces us to speak as a child cries, when hungry, but without the written word, we can't prove that we can be autonomous. In this 14-session course we hope to train participants for leadership through prosperity, encouraging written documentation of positions taken, and in doing so teach candidates hashtag how to run for president. With your help, I'm sure we can make this a calm smooth transaction where the exchange will be mutually beneficial. So, bear with us, because we planned for this year, and it's here, now get ready for January 20th at inauguration in 2025. Introduction Running for president is as easy as counting to 14, but becoming president is a little more difficult, however still possible. Despite the virus our campaign slogan will remain, Home Office, Jack, and Ginger Ale. Modeled after our ninth president William Henry Harrison's slogan, Log Cabin and Hard Cider, we see no better fitting slogan in such uncertain times. Just remember that our only objectives are, to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. In doing so we take positions to better assist us in achieving those objectives. We agree on most issues and disagree on others as opposed to leaving well enough alone. Why? Well, because the position will help us see which is unique to us, and our party will be the basis behind our purpose to fight. Choosing liberty or death is not as easy as it may seem. Sure, it is innate for adults to speak out as babies when they are hungry, but as we grow, we learn to remain silent on issues a child wouldn't. That's the essence of politics in a nutshell as we only prefer socializing with others of like mind and disposition. Well, when is our time to speak out to the world, and in what manner will we proceed? Whatever position we take must be reproduced as we have supplied a position which is now in demand. Just like the love we have for our children, we have a love for what we create and work for. Some people's works become extinct long after their patrilineage has expired. That's the difference between the mind and the body. George Washington's legacy lives on as every time we see a dollar bill, we ponder what he'd done for our country. I've never heard it announced that such and such was his descendant, but just because I haven't heard of it doesn't make it true. But at any rate, the dollar bill does much more for the promotion of the law of man then and makes it all the more relevant now. And no, there are no new positions under the sun, but there was one company which combined a broom with a mop that are now used in households all over the United States and abroad. They couldn't be used, if they weren't assembly line, bringing me to my next suggestion. Don't take it the wrong way, I want you to prosper. The next step immediately following reproduction is distribution where there is no way around having a fee incurred. If there were a way to keep the lights on and the printing press serviced for free, it would be simple, but we're not on a spiritual mission where we pray for a change for the better. We're politicians. We're going to put forth an effort to pay for your position like a luxury tax or have that position pay for itself like the Bush's oil or Obama's book The Audacity of Hope. We stand behind our position as an attack on the king's men is the same as an attack on the king himself. Refrain from hostile territories until after we've won the marketing and advertising literacy campaigns. Our victory will fuel the hubris of the defeated, unwittingly to us. When we run for president, since 1791 it's because we think, something should change to make things more comfortable, aesthetically pleasing, and slash or profitable which attributes to the proper ordering of society. We aren't programmed to prefer regression. Our position should always be toward construction and growth, never destruction and decay. People in their right minds know that there is enough prosperity out here for everyone to get their fair share and then some. Sure, we may get more negative responses than positive, but keep selling the position knowing those who buy are the caliber of individuals we want on our side. Since December 15, 1791 Burke Mountain Spring Water is the most refreshing water money can buy. If we've been in a cave or otherwise indisposed the trademark looks like this, SS registered. The Montax and Copulettes are not only bigger than Burke Mountain Bottling Company, they also predate it, but bigger does not always mean better, and first most assuredly isn't necessarily best. 
Cola number one and Cola number two are perhaps the biggest and oldest soda water companies here, but we like refreshments with more of a lemon slash lime flavor. Not red, not blue, but green. Green can be overabundant. That's all the information we have for you this time. Next session we cover chapter one. We hope to see you there. Thank you for your time and consideration.